Hello, everyone, and welcome to EA Sports Game Changers. I'm Kevin Frazier. Today, we have a great show for you. This first story is all about former NFL star Marcellus Wiley. He spent 10 years in the league, and now he's one of the country's most popular broadcasters. But he had a very unusual path to success. This is where it all happens. This is the magic. All right, let's do it. It's 9 a.m., and the workday is just beginning for one of the hardest working men in sports, Marcellus Wiley. Oh, look at here. First up, his one-hour daily TV show on ESPN, Sports Nation. I was happy after that. Really? Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling to fly through the air, especially at my size. I was loving it. Then it's his four-hour sports talk show on ESPN Radio. You got a little mercy for him because for some reason you got to respect for that person. And there's always hours and hours of preparation with producers. Browns tackle Joe Thomas was asked about Brian Hoyer's potential as a starting quarterback. It's a nonstop pace, but you'll never hear him complain. There's nothing you can do to me that's, that's tougher than what I've been through. Marcellus' amazing journey to media superstar had an unlikely beginning on the streets of Compton, California a part of Los Angeles that's probably best known because of its gang violence. Compton, California, uh, you know, it's a tough community. Uh, a lot of working class people uh, that are aspiring to do great things. And at the same time, a lot of people who uh, have low ambition and uh, you got to deal with the ills of the community, which is diversity of gangs and drugs and that negative culture. And the worst part was a lot of people didn't have high aspirations. So it was tough, man, you know, getting beat up at times, you know, getting jumped, jacked, as they say. I had uncles who were gang members. I remember just saying, man, that's no life to live. That kind of shaped my mentality of like, I need to do more than everyone else around me is doing. So I, I utilized football and I utilized my studies to give me an identity that gave me uh, inspiration and esteem to actually do something. And Marcellus did do something pretty amazing. Not only was he the MVP of the football team, he was also the valedictorian of his senior class. He had lots of scholarship offers from traditional football schools, but he chose Columbia in the Ivy League. Remember, people were laughing at me because I went to Columbia. You're a good football player. What are you going to Columbia for? They're the worst football team in the world. Hey, brother, I want to go to the best academic school. Wiley went on to become an All-American at Columbia, playing offense, defense, and special teams. In 1997, he was drafted in the second round of the NFL Draft and spent 10 years in the league, earning a reputation as one of the hardest workers. When I played, I only used to get four hours of sleep, and I've always been that guy, just, I don't know, we only have so many years here on this planet, whatever that may be, and I'm gonna get the most out of it, being awake, and that's just my motto. That infectious love of life has also made Marcellus a hit in the broadcasting world as well. I love it because we can use our personality in talking about sports. A lot of times you watch the guy, he's on TV, and he has to be that guy with a suit. And, uh, it's like sports is fun. Why can't you talk about it in a fun way? So we do. It's just he lives such a life, and he sleeps fewer hours than anyone and he's just always he's always up i have no idea how he does it I'm going to say you're jealous. you're jealous and if you ask marcellus wiley how a kid from compton california can make it to the corridors of espn he has some remarkably simple advice find your identity whatever that is and from there try and line that with a purpose and a passion that's when you find happiness and joy and no matter what you're doing whatever that is don't let anyone else tell you that that's not good enough because it's for you it's your own for more NFL content, visit NFLRush.com.